drunk by the end of NAM, so forgive us if we go into giggles. <laughs> Which we definitely will. <laughs> All right, so listen, George, show us your new products before yes. you show us uh, the other stuff, the ligatures and stuff. Yes, a very unique product we call Clearly Elegant, and it's a way to display saxophones with beauty and elegance. Awesome. So it's a product that has three iterations. First here is our flyer. So what exactly is Clearly Elegant? Yes. So typically when you display a saxophone, it's in an awkward position and it takes up a lot of space on a counter. So it's functional for uh, gigging and things like that. But if you want to display the beauty of a saxophone, unfortunately we have handmade Italian saxophones. We'd like to display them in a way where this, the display stand goes away. It is also easy to do. Let's start with our actual first invention was the single model over here. Here we are. It's currently holding an alto saxophone. Blends in very nicely. And this is the and Ramponi uh, and Pisani saxophone, right? This happens to be their two voices model with a solid silver bell and a brass body beautiful and plays extraordinarily well. So what you see is that although it will move around, it does not come off because it has a latch that's spring-loaded. So it latches in place and does not come undone. And now you say, okay, that's kind of cool, but what if I have a smaller saxophone? I say, yep, that's why we did this. We just happen to have a fully curved soprano. That goes on here, we slide down, latch in place, and there it is again. But looks beautiful. It stands up straight, and you see the beauty of the side. And what I see also, it's attaching to the uh, neck strap hook, folks, if you can't see it. Yes, that is correct. So now we'll move this here. Any size from fully curved sopranino to baritone saxophone. We have an extension that goes on top that you very easily put on. This is modular in its design. Watch. It travels flat, easy, easy to put together, no tools. All of our products, this is a one base and three risers. Now what we did was, we designed that. When we come here, there's an interesting, I call this the amoeba. <laughs> so it allows us to put other ones beside it and they nest. And when they do, you can create contours and display in a way that's not typical. Why does it just have to be utility? It can be beautiful and expressive. So that's what we did and it takes up very little space. This is about 12 inches plus, so it fits on a countertop, a shelf, and more or less blends in. When we come over here, and I'm going to put this out to you. And now we have uh, this model here, I call the Paramecium. <laughs> and we display these saxophones in a way that's really interesting with this half curve. Now why did we do that? Because it allowed us to have them be closer together and yet still fit on a very small either shelf or display stand. So this is only about 14 inches deep. 
and it's nice the way they display. And again, we can put any size that we want. So I don't need a separate stand for soprano. And how difficult is it to display the semi-curved soprano at all with clearly yellow? And it doesn't have to be stagnant like that. The beauty is you can have a subtle backward or even forward. So you're in control of how they're displayed, what they look like, what you're looking to compare. So this would be great for people, um, obviously for you know stores, yes. but also be great for people with their studios if they've got multiple saxophones. Yes, because limited space. So if you want a lot of saxophones in a limited space, this puts them there. Easy to get to and they look good. Now, the other reason we made these a curve is that we can take three of these and put them on a tabletop that's 30 inches in uh, diameter. So nine saxophones, any size, on a tabletop. Wow, okay. Now let me ask you also, the material that the saxophone is resting on, Yes, it is a proprietary, but it's clear and strong. Okay, okay, so proprietary, clear and strong, and I felt it's also, it's cushiony, I felt that, that's important. Yes, so yes, we have a very nice cushion here with a good memory. Now let's go to our final uh, product that we just uh, brought to NAM, and this is three saxophones in one stand. Now this one is a little unusual because it's designed for three different saxophones. For instance, here is, excuse me, tenor, south tenor, sorry. And soprano. Now you say, well, that's kind of interesting, but where would you use that? I know wonderful places when you're going to a show as we are, and we like to bring instruments so they can try out our ligatures. Often they'll bring their mouthpieces. So we can put tenor, alto, soprano, or clarinet. And it only takes up one square foot. Yeah, yeah, check this out, folks. I'm going to hand this out a, a little bit here. We've got a lot of wires for the microphone, sorry. But this is just your standard, how big is this table? This is a 30-inch table, I believe. 30-inch table, okay, yeah. It's really taking up a small amount of space. And I'm thinking, yeah, absolutely for conventions, for shows, but I'm also thinking about the people that are college teachers that have studios. That, ah, you know, studios, interesting. I never thought of that, I love that. Yeah, think about it, because they're playing, you know, they're teaching all the different saxophones and stuff. And you know, some studios are tight, they're condensed in space, so this would be great for them to uh, display their, not, it's not even just displaying their horns, but to have them out so they can grab them and, and Exactly, and go. they're at the ready. Yeah. Also, um, and for folks that are uh, individual players and creative, if you think of it, then look how beautiful your saxophones are. And instead of them being in a case or in a typical uh, style sax holder, you can have them be on a shelf or on a counter and they're they're beautiful they're a work of art and then you take you play it and that's what i like to do i use a traditional holder when i'm testing but when i'm walking downstairs every day i want to see these beautiful saxophones it's very inviting it actually motivates you to practice it does time does get in the way but the motivation <laughs> is there <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> okay, so some other things here, and we'll take a walk down here with Donna and all of her contraptions. You can't imagine, folks, the uh, contraptions that Rulon from Key Leaves helped me to build here. All right, so now what we have is oh, yes. our mouthpiece manager. And this will hold 12 mouthpieces of any size, from a fully curved oh. sopranino to a bass clarinet, contra bass, it doesn't matter. It helps uh, organize them. When I do a lot of testing, I will lay out mouthpieces, I'll lay out ligatures, if you can put barrels and barrels on here, oh, wow. and uh, they just nestle in together. Oh wow, okay, yes. you got a whole bunch here, that's right, so, yeah, it's very small, I'm thinking the whole thing is it, that's right, yep. A whole series of them, they don't make weigh much, they stack very nicely, so if you're a repair technician, you have a shop, wonderful, 
if you like to tinker. Again, how many saxophone players only have one mouthpiece? Right. They have drawers and drawers. <laughs> and when it's time to play and test, we just take this out, put them on there, and go. Rinse it off, easy to clean, lightweight, and affordable. So, our mouthpiece manager. Finally, that's fantastic. And you know, you mentioned repair people too. I see so many repair people put their mouthpieces, they don't know where they put them. Right. This actually would really organize them, manage them, right? So that yes. they could just pull it out for all the instruments that they really care. That's right. Coming over here, really, the, the our latest jewel is the platinum gold. And it is a jewel. <laughs> it is. We're very, very pleased with uh, what this has done for the saxophone and clarinet. Uh, not only is it beautiful, but it, it gives a warmth and a, an element of uh, sounds that did not exist before. It is beautiful and wonderful. And at the same time of being warm, it projects. It projects in a way that you feel it in a somatic way. You hear it, but you feel it. So the beauty is everywhere. That is called the platinum gold. I think, am I right? I think Tim Price is playing that, right? He is, actually. That's right. And uh, when Ron Holloway and Tim came into our studio, when they played, what took me by surprise was the walls were vibrating. And I could feel vibration in my chest. I've never felt that before, except at a rock concert. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to thank you very much. Oh, I, I want to first show this. Hold on. Sure. Lynn, so Lynn over there, she's avoiding the camera. Sorry, you're, <laughs> you're in the camera now. And there's David Hayes over there. Those of you that contact Grosvenor, you can be contacting David. There you go. Awesome. Cool. And look at this display. Every year you top yourself with the display. It like puts everybody to shame. <laughs> I remember one year you had the you had the Star Wars figures and stuff like that. <laughs> the space features. So Donna, here's a quick back end story. These clearly elegant display stands, Lynn and I were working on these and we had concepts. One morning, it was early in the morning before the sun rose and the forest woke up. And we had an idea, so we quick, we got, we're so excited, we went downstairs. I have a mobile whiteboard, five feet long, four feet high, very exciting. We start drawing on there, and out of that came these three products. Oh, wow. So we are true partners, not only in running a business, but creativity, design, and innovation. Absolutely, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, Rogner Products, guys, so just www.rognerproducts.com, contact them. Um, I know Shameless we now, we have a rectangular bore barrel, oh, yeah, very yeah. unusual. Target audience, doublers, so if you play sax and you have nice sax chops, but the clarinet is, uh, this helps, tuning and intonation. But also for beginners too, though. Exactly, two target audiences, and very, very friendly on the wall. Thank you for letting me put that plug in. Uh, no, absolutely. That's what we're here for. And, you know, again, just showing the mouthpieces, folks. Now, if people have questions about, like I had, you know, questions with regard to um, getting a ligature for my 10F and That's right. showboat mouthpiece. So, um, you know, what do they do? They just contact you? So there are a couple of ways. Yeah, info at rovnerproducts.com. Typically, David will follow up. We've recently come out with a more extensive mouthpiece to ligature guide that we'll be publishing on the web in the next few months. So as new mouthpieces are coming, we'll have that information. So for that 10M, we have that already. That's fantastic. And I know everybody's looking for that whenever I recommend your products. I won't know specifically what will fit for you, but once that that um, that e-guide, we'll yes. call it, once that yes. e-guide comes out, then I'll have that link. And I can also probably, uh, I'll push that as well. Awesome. Thanks, right. so, thanks so much, George. I really appreciate it. I know it's the fourth day of NAM. We're all punchy. We're tired. We're yeah. dragging our feet. We don't know our names anymore. <laughs> but thank, you, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.